Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Uh, and thank you, Randy, for inviting us back here to work with you uh, for the Demo Slam. Some of you may recognize me. Um, oh, I don't want to. No, we don't recognize you anymore. You turn the camera off. There you go. I don't know how that happened. But anyway, hello again. Uh, some of you may recognize me um, from EdTech Team Canada. We had the opportunity in 2020 to purchase the subsidiary. So we are now a wholly Canadian owned company called the Cobblestone Collective, uh, but still working with teachers and students all across our country, but thrilled to be back here at the DL Symposium with the Demo Slam. If you are unfamiliar with the Demo Slam, basically we have one, two, three, four, five, six, fearless presenters that will have three minutes to wow you with their favorite tip, trick, tool, dance, song, who knows what we're going to get, um, but it's going to be up to you to vote for whoever you thought was best. Now, why are you voting? The winner of the Demo Slam, they get bragging rights. Maybe we'll give them like a virtual crown or something, um, but you guys hopefully are going to be the winners by Entering your vote, your name goes into a draw. Now, I'm going to warn you, I have removed duplicates. If you try to cheat and enter more than one um, submission, we are going to boot you out of whole competition, so don't do it. Anyhow, we're going to start with these demo slammers. After they're all finished, I'm going to give you a form where you're going to vote for who you thought was your favorite, and then we're going to take all of those names and draw for some awesome, awesome prizes. All right, you might need to take some notes. There's gonna be awesome stuff coming at you. First up, we have Richard Bitgood from Study Forge. Richard, are you ready? I was born ready, but then I forgot, so I'm not ready anymore. <laughs> yes, I just reused my joke from the chat. That's how creative I am. I only have one joke today, okay. <laughs> When does my time start? When I hit share, or what do you think? I think your time has started like 30 seconds ago. So Come I'm on, kidding, that's not I'm fair. Kidding, okay, I'm just kidding. Just... Your time will start as soon as I remember to actually start the time. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Ready, set, go. All right. So last year was um, pretty fun, and this year is like you know what? Last year I showed the platform and some things that you could do within it, um, and so this year I'm not going to show platform. I'm not going to show how easy it is to drill down and see specific information about specific learning object of specific students like you know you can do here. I'm not going to show how fast it is within StudyForge to switch between students just type a name and hit enter. I'm not going to show how you can look at a specific lesson and sort by progress or even filter to just say videos and sort by video progress so that you can differentiate instruction based on what you've assigned to students. Um, I'm not going to show how you can easily come to a student and view all of their question work that they've done within StudyForge for a whole lesson or zoom around and see it um, very easily by clicking and dragging and moving around here because again, I'm not gonna work on platform. I'm also not gonna show the project feature because last year I showed that in my session. I don't wanna repeat the same thing I did last year um, where I was talking about things that grow and having a reflection project. Um, I'm not gonna show how easy it is to customize stuff because again, I'm not gonna focus on platform specifically, um, you know, such as adding a lesson um, called my new lesson, um, you know, or dragging over content from an existing course to populate into your course. I'm not going to show how easy that is, um, nor I'm going to show how easy it is to take content that you like from a different lesson and drop it into a new lesson and rearrange within StudyForge lessons and have that complete kind of control there. Um, uh, you know, nor am I going to talk about um, some of the different interactive experiences because in this demo slam, I wanna take time to focus on content. So um, this year I'm gonna focus on content. I'm gonna highlight from five different courses. This is our um, Literary Studies 11 course that has some beautifully designed content. I'm just gonna play a couple seconds of a video for you here. The folklore surrounding the supposed curse on the play, Macbeth is one of the most famous plays in history and not because it's a tame feel good story. There's an awful lot of bloodshed and evil in it. A whole bunch of people get murdered, including a little boy. There's witchcraft and swordplay. There's imagery about babies getting smashed on the ground. And to top it all off, there's a beheading at the end. It's and no, that's not going to happen there in the demo slam. But I do want to show some fantastic stuff about how our courses are designed, how you progress through readings, um, 
using our awesome reading tool and how that's tracking what students are doing and also chunking things into great experiences for them. I also want to show uh, content from some of our amazing new uh, uh, course. And these two courses that I'm showing right now are available today. This is from our genocide studies course, where um, we have an incredible video called Never Again to open up the course um, that brings students into the um, genocide studies course and opens it up for them. I want to also show um, Chemistry 12, which is going to be available very soon. Um, and this is our first module that's been developed. And just to show you all the massive amounts of videos that we have here um, and things to show. But I also want to show um, we have someone in full time staff who's been developing all kinds of amazing little interactive experiences within our courses. And that's something that I wanted to um, highlight is that focus on the content this year, um, some of the amazing content that you get access to in those customizable formats. Um, you know, it's always a recommendation, especially for Brian, who loves tattoos, to never get a political tattoo when you're 17, which is part of our political ideology studies course, um, you know, where we have some amazing tools, um, like a glossary, where you can actually um, drill down and see deeper levels of that explanation in a glossary in a different place. And in here, we also have developed some uh, uh, interactives that allow people to experience and work through some of the content here. And I'm getting really awesome scores because I'm just clicking around here. But here's a little uh, fun experience where you can try categorizing different things along the political spectrum or categorizing different things across the authoritarian libertarian spectrum. And so this is something that's available in our um, political studies course. And so uh, there's some great experiences that are there in addition to some fantastic videos that walk you through and explain these that are uh, all taught with the study forge pedagogy and um, to walk you through a career life explorations course so here's three courses that are you can see are being developed that are um, all fantastic amazing content experiences within study forge that um, you have access to if you uh, are a study forge client and are using our content. So thank you for the chance to do a demo slam here and congratulations, George, on your win. <laughs> I don't know what George and Brian are saying. That was more than five minutes. What, did I accidentally press pause? I, 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 I must have done something wrong there. Um, awesome just, job. Just Richard. keep that in mind. <laughs> Perfect, I love it. So that's Study Forge, um, just an awesome resource. So many great, cool new additions. Uh, super glad to have you back this year and good luck on the votes. All right, next up, we have Jeremy May from Canvas. Um, I don't, Erin, you don't need to share anything either, do you? No, I'm, I'm going to say some smack talk, but I don't need to share anything. Just my, <laughs> just my smack talk. I can do all that right. all verbally. You shouldn't yeah. talk about Jeremy that way, Erin. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, this is our third demo slam. We're kind of the Susan Lucci of the demo slams in that we've participated three times and we've never won, but today we've saved kind of the big guns. Um, uh, first year we showed Mastery Pass, which is our personalized pathway through content and canvas. We showed uh, Celebration Confetti last year as a celebration of student and teacher achievement. But this year, we've uh, got our ShamWow specialist on hand. We Jeremy do. May is going to bring out the blueprint. Yes, I'm excited. Ready, set, go. All right. Does this feel like you when you are lesson planning? You just fall out of your chair randomly onto the floor, or you know, do you do you try to clean up the mess with your upside down dustpan and unplugged vacuum after you open the Google can of resources everywhere? And then when you try to find a place to shove all those things, you use a sledgehammer to put it into your food processor because that's what you do, right? No more, we've got Blueprint. Blueprint. Uh, so Blueprint courses. Blueprint is a spectacular way to build, design, and then deliver content from Canvas courses to teachers in your school or district. So you can create this awesome repository of all of your curricular materials. You can save the associations and then teachers get that curriculum delivered right to their doorstep. So think about a big box of textbooks being delivered to you, only they're not textbooks, they're delivered in Canvas. But wait, there's more. There's always more with infomercials. Uh, anytime updates need to be made to that content, whether you're rearranging things, you're adding things, you're moving things, 
a spelling change on something that somebody called out, you can push those changes directly out to all of the teachers who are using this curriculum right there with the sync button. So we can send out a note, say, hey, we had some typos, we're gonna give you the new stuff. So it doesn't impact your instruction at all. But wait, there's even more. There's always more, right? There's always more. Billy Mays was the best. Um, so how about you created something in your course and you wanted to give that to another teacher? Well, it's as easy as choosing, typing in that teacher's name and then sending them a copy of that awesome module or that awesome assignment you built in Canvas. And of course, uh, we wouldn't let you, you know, get out of here without painting hair on your head with Ron Popeil's magic hair paint, but we can build upon these other things because of commons. Now we have a repository of almost 200,000 things that teachers have built, shared, and made available for teachers all over the Canvas universe that you can go search, find, and use in your course with your students. So lots of awesome ways to share, find, and leverage curriculum resources in your classes because in the infamous uh, you know, Oprah world, you get curriculum and you get curriculum. Everybody gets curriculum with Canvas, whether it's built by you, other teachers, your district, um, lots of awesome ways to build and distribute those materials out in Canvas. So um, hopefully that was less than three minutes. I didn't practice, but I was hoping so. No, and that was a legit exactly three minutes. So I think yes. <laughs> you, like voting, I think we have to take that into consideration. Well done, awesome. And just so great to see uh, the insides of Canvas and, and all the cool stuff in there too. So thank you so much for sharing that with us, Jeremy. All uh, right, next up, I do believe Harjit is brand new to the demo slam scene. Harjit, are you are you okay? You ready to go? I'm, I'm really nervous here. Oh my God. It's, it's, I, I guess I get extra time, don't I? Being the new guy on the block. I, so here we go. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. I'm just going to, um, you know, share my screen here first. I guess this doesn't count in the time. Um, here we go. All right. Okay. This isn't Canvas, by the way. Uh, this is our own platform. So we're going to learn how to create a course in three minutes. All right. That's our goal here. So here we go. We start with a quick title. We'll call it uh, Demo Slam. And then... Uh, you know, blended learning seems to be the theme of the day. Uh, and we want to develop a course for grade sevens and we'll call it math. And then we're set to go. We end up in our place where um, we can create our own customized content, but I'm just gonna rely on some of the stuff that is available in our repository. So I'm just gonna type in pre-calc and let's see if we can come up with some stuff. Oh uh, no. You've got a space, yeah. There we go, that would help. Thank you. See, that's all the nervous energy I have right now. So we grab the course over, let's say we want to use pre-calc 11. There we go, da, 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 da. You can blame this on uh, TELUS or uh, Shaw, all right? The slow network, it's not me. It's nothing to do with me. So I have uh, essentially imported the entire course. I really don't like powers and radicals in my course. I'm going to hide that. And then I'm gonna go into course overview. Um, within that, <clears throat> I'm just gonna quickly try to add a page just um, to our slides. So here it is, create a page. We'll call it Mr. D and family. And I'm just gonna add a quick image of our wonderful family here and then save that. I hope I'm doing this quick enough. Oh my God, this is, this is getting really nervous. I don't think I can make it, but we'll give it a try. So I'm gonna download the course now, uh, and see if I could uh, make this happen within the time limit. Unlike Richard here, um, you know, who's had uh, you know, unlimited time. I don't know how he negotiated that. Uh, must've been his uh, deep pockets that allowed him to do that. So here it is. I'm now using um, a course shell from Open school. I thought I'd give them a little plug here. Uh, I'm going to restore the course I just created. Let's see if I can do this. Drag and drop, restore, continue. And you can do this in Canvas as well, Aaron. 
I'm pretty confident I can do this with lots of practice or with your support. Uh, so next, oh my God, how am I doing with the time here? You got 36 what? seconds. You got oh. 30 seconds. I think I'm going to make it. I think yeah. I'm going to make it. Here we go. Again, this is a, this purely open school issue if it doesn't go fast enough, all right? Nothing to do with me. Um, there we go. I think we're there. Let's see if uh, the page I created is in the course or not. Mm. It's building a course, building a course, building a course. This part takes a little bit of time, still going. Whenever you build a course the first time, it's gonna take time, a little more than three minutes perhaps. So I'm trying really hard, folks, um, but I'm you just gotta, waiting. You got to pay the hamsters more. I think so. Uh, there we go. We're here. Oh, yeah. And bingo. There's a page we created. We're ready to offer the course. Thank you. And that's awesome. Exactly on the three minutes Jeremy time. Perfect. It, it, was, not, it was not rehearsed, Jeremy, all right? It's the first oh, time I tried. Actually, that would that might have been three minutes Richard time. Sorry. Anyway, who cares? <laughs> great job. Great, great job. And just to see the ease of use, like that you could create that and have it all ready to go in just over three minutes. Really, really cool. And so that's content connections. Is that right? That is correct. Very, 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 very cool. All right, you guys. Uh, you may have met this gentleman. I think last year, maybe, and the year before. Uh, Mr. George Barsenis is here again with us this year. George was a keynote a couple of years ago. George has a new role. And George is here, I do believe, going to tell us about some super cool ViewSonic stuff. Uh, and I think ViewSonic has some giveaways too. George, tell us a little bit more. Okay, so the giveaways have nothing to do with, I don't, I don't know about the giveaways, so you don't have to vote for that. Um, I am so sorry, guys. I just want to make sure. I think everyone has done an amazing job uh, with the presentation. So in the chat, I've been trying to just talk trash, but I'm very impressed. I am also baking right now. So I just want you to know I've never done this before, but I am in a, I'm wearing black, which is never a good thing. I'm in the car. I parked in front of the sun. And so this whole time I'm like, computer's hot. I'm hot. Hot spots going. So I'm going to tell you this view sonic stuff that I want to show you. I've never been about products. I've always been about how the ease of things for teachers, uh, but I left my job uh, uh, two weeks ago to start what I'm doing now. And I wanted to show you why. And I think it's important you know that everyone has a reason for their why. And I wanna share that with you. And I'm gonna use why with my ViewSonic. So right now I'm gonna share my screen. And again, if my computer blows up or whatever, I'm okay because everything I'm gonna share with you, you guys can figure it out on your own. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna to go to Google and I'm gonna just tell you right now, the easiest way to do what I'm about to do is just, I'm gonna type in my view board. And this was the way that I started um, about the beginning of the year. I started using something called Jamboard and Jamboard was one of my favorite tools to use because it did a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna do, uh, but I'm using the free version of Viewboard. So I want you to know right now, there's an amazing screen you can buy. There's amazing products you can use, but I'm just gonna use the free one it's just, I'm going to go to sign. We may have lost George. Uh oh, oh okay. no. I'm going to go to sign in and then it will sign him in. You know what we might do? It was too hot. I think so. He's just totally, his computer has <laughs> he just <laughs> gone. Has that ever happened before in a demo lab? <laughs> Hopefully we get George back. Um, why don't we do this? I feel like probably Brian, can you take over screen sharing and we can zip over to you and then hope that George comes back? Yeah, we'll uh, get back to George in a moment. Sounds really good. Let me jump in here to screen share. Okay, I'm gonna stop the other screen share. Here we go. And I'm going to share this screen right here. And can you see that? All righty, here we go. 
And here we go. All right, so I'm going to be talking to you today about Adobe Spark and a logo for the win. There's a bit.ly at the bottom. It'll be in the chat in a few seconds. What is Spark? Adobe Spark is a web and mobile um, web application that makes graphics, web pages, and videos anywhere for free. So my favorite that I'm going to talk to you about today is Adobe Spark Post. All right, so this is where I got to tab over here. And Spark Post is a graphics creator. It's kind of like Canva, but uh, in my opinion, better um, because of the other two tools that are attached to it. I started off with a couple circles here. This is a circle here that is just overlaid on top of another circle. And I'm going to make you a logo right here really quick. I'm going to add some text, the number four, because if you're talking about for the win, you got to have a four that shows up right here. Okay, going to expand that a little bit there. Dun, dun, dun. Add some more text. Um, the win here, like this. This, oh, not like that. And jump in there. And I will bring that up here. I'm gonna reorganize this a little bit here, like this. I like making logos. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. I'll put this. Oh, that's a bit big. Stick that up in here like this. Ooh, that's a bit small, but it'll, it'll have to do for right now. I'm gonna go and add an icon over here. There's a host of lots of icons. I'm gonna look for trophy, because you gotta put it on a trophy. We'll press enter, grab a trophy like this, take that trophy, change the size of it a little bit, stick the number four right on the trophy just like that, change the colors of the trophy to red, the four to red here the win two red right in here and then from there i'm happy with my logo actually am, am i no i gotta center it so there's centering things you can do i use this tool with my students almost every day in class we do lots of graphics creations i'm gonna download this as a png with a transparent background or solid background here it'll land in my downloads i will jump over to my slides right over here I'm going to drop this right onto this slide. You can see that the white is not transparent, like the background there that looked like it was, and I will continue presenting. So there's the logo that I just made for you, Lickety Split. I do this on my iPhone, and I'm able to make logos and do creations like that. This is one that I was when I was practicing, because I did practice, because it's always important to practice for a demo slam. Um, these are some logos that my students made in class, and I actually found a print shop that was able to print stickers for us so they got their own set of 20 stickers each and we had a sticker exchange and it's fantastic awesome other things oh no it's gone oh, I, oh well i got my fresher at five logo that i made from my podcast it's it's there and uh some other things swag bag you guys need some resources you can take this and take a look at claudio zavella jr on youtube this guy's brilliant he makes videos every week about rush Adobe Spark and other things that you can do really quick. And I don't know if the sound's going to play. That's a slam. Nice job. I love that. Great, great. Um, Adobe Spark is so cool. And, and Brian, when I saw you were doing Adobe Spark again, I'm like, well, Brian did Adobe Spark last year. I know. That's the beauty of it. There's so much inside Adobe Spark, those three different applications um, that you could do this year after year so love it and love that there were stickers absolutely so super Michelle, can i go real quick before my the phone dies sure oh yeah yeah you're back Welcome awesome. George. sorry Welcome sorry but that was so much better that i love that one so i just want to give props to that one that was amazing on there and again i i apologize for dropping it and thank you uh brian for stepping in so let me just go through this real quick so i just want to make sure uh my view board when you signed in i just clicked on the one called whiteboard and the whiteboard is my jam board and this is where i started so right now one of the things i loved about this is i'm going to tell a story i linked my google drive so in my google drive i created a folder of things i want so my favorite things so my favorite people i have a folder and so one of my favorite places and this is actually because of michelle is i'm going to drag it from my uh, folder my google drive and i can actually just go and say you know what i want this to be my background so I'm going to set Timbits as my background because I didn't know what Timbits were until Michelle showed me. And I can go back to my magic box, go back to my Google Drive, and I can start telling stories that I want to do with kids. So in my drive, you notice it's all linked. This was something that was my favorite thing to do with my, uh, my view board is I can go through and grab people. So right now, here's my favorite picture of Michelle. So Michelle is going to be dropped in here. 
Um, here's the fake George or the other George. I'm going to drop him in here. Um, here's Brian. I love Brian. I'm going to drop him in there. And then uh, one of my uh, favorite people to talk to here is Randy. I'm going to drop him down here. And so I just grabbed all those things from my view board uh, for my Google Drive and I can move her. So I'm going to put her over here. You know what? And I want to talk about why Michelle is so important to me is Michelle is one of my favorite people because Michelle always has a story. So whenever you talk to Michelle, she always tells us a story. So I'm going to go over here and click on the pin tool. And on the pin tool, again, I just want to use it to tell a story. So I'm going to go over and click one of my favorite things to do. It's called an AI pin. And when you talk to Michelle, Michelle always talks about, you know what, George? It's about building a home. So here's my really bad drawing of a house. So right now, I'm going to go through here and try to do a house. And I'm going to click on this one and say, you know, this is the one I want. It's not, it's much better than the one I just drew, but it actually takes the smart board pin and it allows me to create that house. Because when you talk to Michelle, she's always talking about what are you creating? What are you building on? George, I'm going to go through with George and I'm going to do shapes. For George, he's always talking about boxes. So I don't know if you heard of, uh, what he talked about today. I didn't get a chance to see it or I was going to actually going to watch the recording, but I realized that he didn't allow the recording to happen. But he talks about boxes, big boxes, little boxes. He talks about getting outside the box and what you can do. With Brian, though, he's different. So I'm going to go back to my magic box. And with Brian, I'm going to do an image search. When you're talking about Brian, he's always talking about like design. So I'm going to go through and type in design. And then I'm going to say, you know what, enter, go search the internet for something for design. I think this is really cute. So I'm going to put it next to Brian and I put it there. But I also know when Brian, when he does design, he's always looking at how artwork works. But Brian really, he is also all about being able to tell a story. So right now I'm going to go back to my magic box and I'm going to say, you know what, I want to drop in a YouTube video. Now, also what I like about what I'm doing is I'm doing it on a hotspot on my tablet. Um, so Rick roll, <laughs> and I'm doing it right now where I can embed all these things. So right now, one of the things that uh, I get emails all the time from Brian, he tries to Rick roll me, but I just put it in here. I just inserted a YouTube video into the jam, uh, jam board, which I call my view board. And this is things that I love that I'm able to do with a simple product, but I didn't forget about you, Randy. So well, Randy, if you ever go through, let's look for something for Randy. I'm gonna do an image search again. I'm going to go through, Randy's always the life of the party. So I'm going to do party. I'm going to do this magic word called PNG because it gives me like a cutout. And let's go through and say, you know what? If you've ever been around with Brian, uh, with Randy, he usually rents the top floor of the hotel and there's parties going on until people tell him to be quiet. But right now I can put this over here and now I'm able to use all this stuff and be interactive. Now, the last part that I wanted to show you Really what I think about this and what I'm gonna uh, really invest time on is this, you know, here's the whiteboard pen. And again, I'm drawing on this tablet. The present mode allows me to go into like Google Slides. You know how you guys go to Google Slides and now allows me to play the video. And now I don't think I share my audio, but right now it allows me to go through and play this video that, uh, that Brian always tries to send to me. So again, that is my view board. It's free. Um, it's one of my favorite tools when you go to myviewboard.com. You go through and type on whiteboard and it allows you to do all the things I just did in a car in the middle of, uh, of hopefully I'm still going, <laughs> going through. I, I, I don't know if I'm frozen again, but it allows you to do that all right there. Okay. Thank you for your time. And hopefully wow. I'll see you guys again. Oh, and George, it's so great to have you back here and Usonic is so lucky to have you. Um, and if we had more time, George would be able to tell you about some of the interactive tools where you can control what tools your students have together on the whiteboard. Anyway, definitely worth checking out my viewboard. George, so cool that you could be here and show that to us. Um, our final demo slammer. We have Rob Bayek from Prezi. He's going to show us Prezi video. And, and I do believe, Rob, we probably want to put you pinned to the full screen. Is that right? Yes. Thanks, Michelle. Hello, everybody. Yeah, pin me to the full screen. I won't be sharing my screen because that's part of the point of my demonstration. But uh, speaker view or, or spotlight will work great. So um, one of the things I think we're trying to get rid of is, is this kind of thing where we start to talk, whether it's in a video and we lose the human teacher presence. But with Prezi video, you can be right here alongside your content. And so now if I'm teaching, whether it's an instructional video or live in Zoom, I can actually have the content right here with me. I can maintain a teacher presence. And I'm doing this based on professionally designed templates. I could start by importing a PowerPoint and again, I can live stream it like I'm doing now in Zoom, or I can record a video. 
And so we're seeing teachers do some really amazing things with their content um, for kids. So you're talking about the Coliseum and now I can go into the Coliseum. I wanna talk about the architecture around the arches and I can zoom right in and I can really get into it with the students. And, and if you're thinking a video typically loses student attention and almost like up to about you know, the first three to four minutes, now you can really keep them focused on the content because you have the teacher presence with you. And really it's, it's something that I think now with blended learning and everything, we've kind of lost that engagement factor and you wanna bring back the wow factor. And that's really what we can do to keep kids in, in touch. And now even as we shift back into the classroom, this will still have uses for instructional videos. And there's, and there's many uses and we're seeing flip classroom. This guy has done some amazing story time read alouds in the Bronx where he's literally reading stories. We're seeing people using it in Microsoft Teams, in Zoom, in Google Meet. And we're seeing people really outline their assignments and expectations in video. And that way kids can go back and rewatch the videos and really start to understand what's expected as they are um, uh, really delving into a new assignment. So we see this use case as really being something that will continue even once we get this horrible pandemic um, behind us. So of course, I wanna show you kind of the new fun stuff. And so um, we just released uh, the ability to have video in video. So now you're talking about metamorphosis and now I can sit here and I just click on the video there. And now we, I could actually narrate this and we could go through this together and now we're really making the lesson come alive. I could be assigning this video and I could preview what to look for, for the students. Um, and, and then if I wanted to go back and actually um, share my screen, which is something that's also new now, hit screen share within Prezi video. And now I'm back in Rome and I could actually dig right into the Colosseum here and I can start to use the lovely powers of Google Earth and other technologies anything I can basically bring in and really make the lesson kind of come alive. And if I have time, I will show you one more little bits and pieces from a, a, a Prezi that I did not design, but someone who truly is, um, let me see if this works. I'll just go and see if Fuji comes alive. And so now it's really starts to become whatever you can do with graphic design. And so now I've got these really cool access denied, I can kind of play around with this and I feel like I'm Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise. So uh, that's about all I have. Thank you for the time. I slipped over my apologies. And you didn't. That was pretty much bang on three minutes. You are so good. And Brian Carpenter is thrilled. He can now be a weatherman. Um, yeah, I don't know if you saw in the thread, you, you have um, blown some minds out there at, just as you did when you showed me that as well. Amazing. Prezi video, you guys. Um, very cool stuff. All right. Well, thank you all of you demo slammers. Uh, and now to the vote. In the chat, you should see a link, hopefully. Please oh. put for a bit. <laughs> Paste it again. Oh, sure. Yeah, so it's the cc.page slash slam vote. I'll put it in there again. Hopefully that works. Let me know if it doesn't. That's going to take you to a Google form. Put your name in there. Put your vote. I see the votes are coming in. Don't vote twice or you will be found out. And then we're going to draw for some prizes. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. While we're waiting for the votes to come in, um, Randy, any other messages or things while we're waiting? Just, we're not certain on view, Sonic, are the prizes complete, but I can help as we walk through, we can sort of start with a few of them. Yeah, and, and maybe just as we're getting the votes coming in, we'll we'll do a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a quick little uh, thank you and shout out uh, just before we get to the prizes. So um, I, I just want to take this opportunity while we still have everybody's attention and everybody here. Um, your prizes are, sh are coming to you shortly, but um, we just wanted to have a huge shout out to, um, of course, all of our sponsors who made this event possible. So our gold sponsors, Canvas and Study Forge, um, and our silver sponsors, Open School BC, the WCLN, Zoom, Content Connections, Microsoft, and of course, all the support from and, and sponsorship from Michelle Yu and the team at Cobblestone Collective as well. Uh, great work. Um, without all of these amazing sponsors, events like this wouldn't be able to be possible. And I also wanna give a huge shout out 
to Randy for once again, putting together this incredible learning opportunity um, for all of us. Uh, and, you know, he, he isn't alone. He has the almighty Pam behind him who <laughs> keeps him on track. So, um, so thank you to Pam as well. And everybody who's on the, on the, um, the conference, <laughs> sorry, the, the symposium committee, the planning committee, and of course uh, the BCEDL executive as well. Who's, who's been supportive. And uh, I think I'll pass it over to Danica for just for a couple of words as well. Sounds good. Yeah, we just wanted uh, on behalf of the BCDL to thank uh, our moderators for keeping us on track, keeping the rooms open. So a big shout out to Jen Hibbert, Jenny Morrison, Alyssa Terry, Brian Carpenter, Pam Parenti, and Brad Breitkretz. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and a big, big shout out as well to our keynotes. So from yesterday, George Caros, Tony Bates, Jen Giffen from today, just so wonderful to see those threads of relationship building and uh, reconnecting and making those connections and reflecting and wellness. Those are so powerful, not only from sort of real life, but also during pandemic and post pandemic as well. So making sure that we're understanding those things and thank you, thank you, thank you. And I wish I had George Caros's, um shout out sound, but also whoa, 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 thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, that was pretty close. Uh, thank you to the attendees. So thank you again for coming. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for whoever added that. That was me. Um, thanks, Brian. So you are amazing. And we hope to continue this learning in May, uh, in October, next April. We hope that we can continue this journey of learning and improving our practice together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Danica. And Ellen, we didn't forget about you. You, of course, as well, one of our uh, trusty um, uh, moderators. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Jesse in Kumo Space who's been hosting the, the background social space. And we do still encourage people to go there after the, uh, after the prize wrap up as well. And, um, and I, I may just have another little giveaway or two there if you make your way there. So um, I do wanna encourage people to go check that out to, to try and create some of that social interaction that we often have at the end of the day. And also a huge shout out, and I know Michelle, you're going to give it as well, but to the, to the demo slammers, I'm blown away by some of the amazing tools and every year, you know, there's always something new and this time again, a bunch of new stuff. So thanks. And I think um, we're it's good gonna, to go. I was going to say, just a reminder, don't forget the, give us some feedback. Yeah. The feedback form, Randy, just put the post, uh, uh, the link in the, in the chat again, it will go out via email again to you as well. So, so please remember that. Hold on, I do have one chat here. Uh, yeah, and I will post the link for the BCDL sign up again as well. Um, there's that. Uh, Michelle, I have a slideshow of all the prizes, but I know you need to screen share as well because you need to name pick. So how are we going to do that? Are we just going to pop back and forth? Is that what you want to do? Or do you want to just me talk about the prizes or how? Why don't you go ahead and show those prizes? And then as we're drawing, you're going to just tell me what yeah. prize you're going to win. But yeah, let's see what's up okay. for grabs. And if anybody's in here that we missed, speak up. And let me just throw the. All right, we should see prize draw, hopefully. Yep, see you in it. Good. Hey, oh, it's past playing. two o'clock. We have there's no prizes. Oh, we got to hurry. Okay, here we go. We're so, too late. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Pri Does that mean no prizes? Randy? No prizes. That's it. It's two o five. <laughs> oh no. Well, it was great having everybody here. <laughs> That's yes. the exact meeting. Let's just yeah. go for it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Let's get to the prizes. So we're gonna start off with. Study Forge. Now, Study Forge is giving away their uh, prizes. Uh, by filling out their form and I'll put that link in the chat as well if you and I don't know uh, Richard if you want to talk about this real quick uh, yeah so you get free free resources it's a past session that we gave last year um, in PDF form so some resources for you so you get the resources and the chance to win one of four fifty dollar Amazon gift cards so lots of options there um, if you fill it out by 230 then you'll get entered to win Perfect, and I just threw the link there in the chat. Oh no, I sent it to only one person. Whoops, that's my rookie mistake. Um, there it is, I think that should work for everyone. So yeah, one, one of four chances to win an Amazon gift card. Moving right along. Next we have Canvas giving away 
three $50 gift cards. So Michelle, that's over to you now to draw some names. You want me to do those now or you want to, do we want to just- Oh, I see. I just want to go, I'll go through all the prizes and then yeah, you can screen share. Got it, cool. Yeah. So Canvas giving away three $50 gift cards. Uh, the Canny Learn Network is giving away two chances to win a virtual registration for the 2021 DLAC conference. Uh, Randy, do you want to speak to it at all? Yeah, uh, so this is a great, they're partners, they're the groups uh, that we formed Canny Learn from in terms of working with them as well. And their virtual conference is uh, <clears throat> set up, there's a pre one for June 8th, and then it's, uh, I think, the 15th, 16th. And it's going to be a hybrid conference, so you get to eavesdrop in as well. So, Awesome. Then I have from the BC EDL PSA in partnership with Blended BC giving away two Bose Quiet Cup for 35 wireless headphones. These are incredible headphones. They're like these ones, but the newer version of them. They are amazing. Now, I know not many, many people are spending time in planes right now, but even just when you're at home with your kids or in a classroom and you're trying to tune out someone, these are awesome. So two of those. Uh, Kenny Learn and Blender BC together giving away two chances for a full registration to the 2022 face to face DL symposium in April. Randy, I don't know if you want to add anything to that. No, just that the actual price to be determined. We have to we yeah. get the hotel contract first because we don't know the pricing quite yet. Yeah, exactly. Prezi is giving away three chances to win a free three month upgrade to Prezi Video Pro. This is huge. This is amazing. Um, opportunity. So you just saw that uh, being being showcased in the demo slam, and Prezi has uh, give is giving away three full Video Pro um, upgrades to some lucky winners here. And then Randy Viewsonic, yeah. Nene. Uh, well, that's sort of uh, Michelle, but just on that as well, okay. Rob, I, the uh, the upgrades as well. Uh, a lot of the functionality is already in Prezi before, right? Yeah, in the free basic will get you everything I showed you um, beyond the graphic design skills it takes to do that last one that you have to conjure on your own. So Adobe talk Spark. to your friends at Adobe, right? <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, try the, sign up for the free basic. The upgrade will break down the remaining kind of paywalls. Yeah, so, so it's not exclusive, but not just three people walk away with Prezi video. No, I already have a Prezi Video account. It's amazing. It's easy to use. Robbie did a great job showcasing it. So, and and we have Rob back on May seventh. Yes. All right, Michelle. Now I think we're ready to draw some prizes. Let's start with a Canvas gift card. Well, you know what? Before we do that, should we announce who the Demo Slam champion is? Ooh. No. Yes, please. All right. You guys can see my screen, I assume. Oh, I can't see you guys. That's okay. I'm going to assume that you see me. And this is the back end of the Google form. Drum roll for the winner. Uh, a landslide. Prezi video for the win with 69.9% of the votes. Congratulations, Rob. And more importantly, congratulations, all of us, for now knowing about Prezi video. But let's go over to, do you now see Flippity on the screen? Brian, I see you. Can you give me a thumbs up if you yep. see my Flippity Spinner? Yes. Awesome. Oh, darn, there's only two names, Michelle and Randy. Oh, <laughs> and testing. <laughs> I'll refresh this. So if you haven't used Flippity, Flippity is amazing. I got all your names in there. We can't really see them, but I'm going to go to the single name. And as soon as I do, that's going to be our first winner. We have Michelle Sturba is in the background from Cobblestone Collective. She is writing down who is winning what. And either she or Randy, one of us will contact you about uh what prizes you won so what's up first thomas gift cards from canvas aaron do you want to talk about it at all or so we're going to give away three gift cards with those gift cards also comes a fabulous swag package we're famous for our awesome swag so um yeah let's let's pick some winners here we go winner, winner number one for canvas gift card michelle o'reilly whoop whoop and whoop. Then. We have Canvas gift card number two goes to Mike Gasco. <laughs> That's nice. a great there go, Mike. <laughs> Feel free to unmute and just give a woohoo. Let's like uh, let's hear from you. Woo! Nice. The third <laughs> Canvas gift card goes to Maria Default. So hopefully. <laughs> 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 not, 
that recorded in the background there. If not, this is all being recorded. We can come back and make sure we know who won. All right, Thomas. Amazing. Next, we're giving away two virtual registration to the 2021 DLAC conference. Ooh, awesome. Courtesy so of Can You Learn. Perfect. DLAC winner number one is Heidi here. Congratulations, Heidi. That's right. We should almost make them unmute so we know they are here still. Yeah. It yeah, I'm searching for them in the participants list, but that's a good idea. When you, when you see your name, please unmute and say, I'm here, I'm winning. Woot Thank woot. you. <laughs> um, and then the next uh, winner for that is Marlo Taylor. Congratulations, Marlo. Woot woot. Such Woohoo! There we go. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> All right, Thomas. Next awesome. Item. We've got a head of uh, a set of Bose Quiet Comfort 35 wireless headphones. Two of those given away. So, yeah. So, not sorry. One person doesn't get both. It's two chances. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have one set of headphones going to Eric. Congratulations, Eric. Woohoo! Woohoo! And the second winner of the headphones goes to Chris Brandel. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Nice, nice. Congrats, congrats. All right, Thomas, what's next? Next, we have two chances for a 2022 DL Symposium. These will be the first tickets going out to the 2022 DL Symposium. Um, two of those in a hotel at the Burnaby, Delta, Delta Burnaby. So go for it, Michelle. Fantastic. Sorry, courtesy of Can You Learn Again. Yeah. Of course. Okay. DL Symposium 2022. Cheryl F. Congratulations. And next, oh, DL wow. Symposium 2022. Andy. Oh. Congratulations, Andy. My air horn disappeared. <laughs> uh, is Andy in the house? I don't see him on the list. Oh. 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 Uh oh. You got to be here. Uh oh. Andy, this is your chance. House. Speak up if you're here. If you're not here, we're going to no, do another a, draw. So if you go to the uh, participants list, you can do a quick search just by tap, typing. I know, but name. sometimes people have different names for their thing. So I'm just giving him okay. one chance. Okay. No, Andy. Andy, so sorry. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that means it's That's fine. Goes no. In. Wait, I heard something. That Andy? Was that Andy? Going once. Is Andy, Andy there? Is Andy there? Somebody spoke up. Somebody unmuted, but I didn't see. I don't think it was Andy. The user was B N A K A that just spoke. I don't know who that is. Okay. B Moving on. Okay. So instead of Andy, that prize goes to that's Francis. So that's DL Symposium 2022, correct? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I do see Francis. I think F T S E N. Is that you, Francis? I don't think so. Yeah, should be. That's last name. Are we good? I th I see Francis unmuted, but I can't hear you, Francis. Just put something in the chat. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be online. Yeah, it is. Yep, yeah, he's good. There, nice. awesome. Thank you, Francis. Nice. And what's next, Thomas? Now we have the three. Prezi Pro upgrades to give away. You know, before we go to Prezi, I know ViewSonic, we talked to ViewSonic um, and they said like three or four prizes. So I think that must mean four. <laughs> Andy, okay, if I just make that call, I'll deal, I'll, I'll okay. talk to our friends at ViewSonic. But just so you know, we're not exactly sure what ViewSonic is giving, but it will be a touch screen monitor of sorts. ViewSonic has awesome, like right now, my monitor up here is just like a regular monitor, but it's touch screen. They also have tablet size touch screen monitor, so you can have that second monitor. Um, but our friends at ViewSonic are going to give away four of those because that's how many I said they're going to give away. Hopefully that's okay. ViewSonic number one goes to Bell Chen. <laughs> Do the bells here? We're good. Not seeing bell. Oh boy. This is like crushing. If they decided to leave before the prizes, oh no. Oh, we bells here. Should they ever leave? I must leave here. Yeah. <laughs> bell <laughs> bell here. Here. Yeah. yeah, there you go. We can yeah. hear you, Bell. Awesome. Congratulations. Excellent. ViewSonic. 
monitor number two goes to that's Tamiko and Tamiko. Right. Yeah. Yay! The, hey, I'm here. Woo woo! One of the Perfect. last to get your vote in, Tamiko. I pasted you again. Congratulations. Good job, Tammy. Thank you. All right, ViewSonic monitor number three goes to Heather. Are you here, Heather? Yep. I'm Perfect. here. Awesome. <laughs> Woohoo! Congrats. And hey. monitor number four goes to Kemi. Yes, Yay. thank you. He's there. And now, Prezi Pro licenses. We have three of those to give away. First one goes to that's Matt Tilford. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Awesome. And Prezi Video Pro, Kathleen. Hey. Woot woot. Kathleen's here. Yeah, yep. thanks. Yay. It was fun. Congrats. And Prezi Pro to Bruce. Congratulations, Bruce. <laughs> Yeehaw. Woohoo. And that's it. Is that right? Actually, Michelle, there's one more prize from Study Forge. It's the door prize here. So it's a $200 Amazon gift card. Oh, nice. And is that, that's the separate form though, right? That's, no, that's for like the demo slam and then everybody else can um, fill out the form for the ebook and then get their name draw for one of four $50 Amazon card. Okay, perfect. So I'm drawing for this $200 Amazon card then, is that right? That's right. Here we go. $200 Amazon gift card. Thanks to Study Forge. Tracy Buck. Congratulations, Tracy. Hey. She's in the house. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm amazed. So awesome. Because well, everybody's feeling so generous, Michelle, and you guys wound me up, right? <laughs> so, uh, and by saying you invited me here, then then I, then you gave me the Burger King crown, as Richard said. So here's my uh, here's my offer on a Friday afternoon for there's anyone more. who creates a, uh, a Prezi video for educational purposes, students, professional learning, and sends it to me before next Friday, as an example, um, I'll give you a limited edition special Prezi video t-shirt. <laughs> so that's the challenge. You go to work, sign up for the free one, and send me your, uh, and I'm putting my email in the chat, and uh, these t-shirts, hot. Hot, super hip. I can't wait to do a Prezi video wearing my Prezi video t-shirt. I don't Act know up. what I would do. I'll freak out if you do that. <laughs> Rob, if you send me that t-shirt, I'll actually make my demo video that way with that t-shirt. <laughs> Who said that? That's Brian. That That's was Brian. Okay, He's Brian. Yeah. Trying to weasel his way. I don't get Does. a t-shirt, right? He didn't win the demo, <laughs> Sam, so he's just... Yeah. <laughs> He's a little sad. Whatever it Just takes. before we call it a day, uh, final shout out. Thank you so much, Michelle, um, and the whole Cobblestone Collective. Uh, it's amazing yeah. to have you guys back under a new a new banner, and we'll be looking forward to working with, with you in the future. That the symposium is not over. This is where the social happens. Kumo space. I put the link in the chat. I'll put it there again because there's amazing. Um, oh yeah, Randy put it there again as well. Um, he, or Jesse put it, sorry. Um, and I'll just really quickly screen share just to remind you of what that space looks like when we are there. You'd simply go to the link. You don't have to make an account. You simply put in your name, you click join, and you can hang out in the classroom or the rooftop bar or the cafe or on this beautiful sunny day in the outdoor park. If you make your way to the rooftop bar, just make sure you quickly walk away from there and pour yourself a drink and then walk around and see if you can find some people that you can connect with. I see Jesse's here and Stephanie's and, here. And you know, so click Danica's on the map here. on the top bottom corner right. If you click Sorry, on the that? map, then you see everybody in the room. Yeah, if you click on map, then you can see everybody moving about and where people are hanging out. I know that Brian and I are going to be hanging out in the pool with our drinks. And we hope that many of you are going to come join us there as well. It's a nice virtual way to socialize and kind of finish up the day. So put the link in there again. Final huge shout out. Thank you to King, Randy, Kenny Learn, and everybody who was involved making this Back event possible. Thank you, Thomas and Danica as well. That 
Awesome. Good stuff. And you guys sign up, get on with the list with uh, Michelle and Cobblestone Collaborative. I collected, sorry. <laughs> great. Too, too many C's. I know. Yeah, uh, I, I, <laughs> right? Nah, so great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. Please connect with us through Twitter, send us emails, just keep these conversations going. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you. It looks